The next thing I want to do is to start um, soaking his feet and then we'll remove some excess scale and then we will put on a mixture of what I call stinky paint made to smell very nice with um, bee relieved essential oils which is by itself has um, in humans at least has um, pain relieving anti-inflammatory effects and works very very quickly and it's made by one of my clients um, Cheryl Gilbert and Mark um, and their website is aromath.com.au um, anyway a very handy human product which I use off label totally off label for birds and I've made in, put into the stinky paint a broad spectrum injectable antibody and the really stinky stuff is the Domoso um, and that is pain relieving, anti-inflammatory, um, reducing swelling and highly penetrating so um, if you get this on your skin you taste it within about 10 minutes if you haven't washed your hands within, five, within two minutes you'll be reminded of um, garlic and prawns, garlic and oysters perhaps I know it's not today's garlic and prawns, I know it's not tomorrow's garlic and prawns, I know it's not yesterday's garlic and prawns. Um, and the reason I'm confused about the prawns or the oysters is because I think it might be last year's. <laughs> so, <laughs> the idea, if you get any of this stuff on yourself, by mistake, wash your hands quickly. Otherwise you become antisocial in about 10 minutes later. <laughs> Alright. Um, so when we're applying that, um, because I'm going to soak the feet um, first and do a bit of, um, well we can trim those nails, so let's do that, oh, oh. sorry you, you got me that time, but alright, just calm, I'm concentrating on a few things, we'll just do a, a basic nail trim, very often the birds lose their nails with this, right, take that one off there, Take that one off there. We'll take that one off. There. And he's already lost one toe from this disease here. And he's lost lost a toe uh, from this foot already, so he's had this for a long this mite infestation for a long time. Should have three toes forward and one toe back. He's only got two toes forward. And this is very chronic form of the disease. A lot of uh, wildlife carers would give up on a bird like this. Um, I like to give them the chance to live. He's lived with it for so long, he deserves to recover to the best of my ability, in my view. Now, just to show you very gently a lot of this stuff, particularly when it's soaked, and particularly after a week or two of underlying treatment, can be peeled off. In fact, I'll just clip it off this way. All right, gentle, gentle. Really, really, really tough at the moment. But we want to get a lot of this off if we can. But he needs some settling down first of all. I think. We'll do the rest at a recheck, um, because he's going to bleed too easily at the moment. So, um, what we'll do is we'll put that's some oxydectin. That's not the one I want. Get that one out of the way. This is the one I want. Stinky paint. So I'm going to put basically a drop there, a drop there, a drop there. We'll do a drop here. That one slipped. We'll do a drop in there, let it run in, soak in. We'll do a drop out here. Right. And I'll get you to do that um, twice a day, once or twice a day, probably twice a day initially, so that we've got a good covering of the drops, but then just top it up with one drop daily once you've. Uh, got the area done and I would like to see this birdie in about a week's time 
I think by then we'll be starting to get some normal tissue under, underneath and we'll be able to start peeling off a lot more of this, um, this tissue. But in the meantime, that's just full of dead uh, mites and mite eggs. Um, anyway, we could spend a lot of time doing that and it's going to be much, much easier when we've made a little bit of progress. So with the underlying conditions.